What's good YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to another remake video. Today we'll be remaking Ed Sheeran's track with Justin Bieber, I Don't Care. We're switching it up from Trap, going to a little bit of a pop anthem, so let's get straight to it. First things first, let's go ahead and set our tempo to 102 beats per minute. And we're gonna start off with the piano that we hear throughout the entire record. We're gonna go to piano and we're gonna be using Logic's Steinway Grand Piano. And uh, this is an eight bar pattern. And let's go ahead and start drawing that. Give ourselves some room here. And uh, we're gonna go to a very high octave here. Let's go to the sixth octave here. And we're gonna start off with an F sharp. So let's go here. And we're just gonna go ahead and just duplicate that one, two, three times. And then we're gonna duplicate it once more again, but it's gonna switch up. We're gonna change the pitch of it. We're gonna push it down. So it goes something like this. Doon, doon, and we're gonna go up. Just focus on the last four bars here. Do, 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 And then we're gonna go back all the way up to our original notes. And it ends up sounding something like this. All right, so what we're gonna do right now here is uh, we're just gonna go ahead and add in another instance of a reverb. I know there's some reverb already on the piano, but we're just gonna go ahead and make it a little bit fuller here. I'm just gonna use the default settings that load up. And we're gonna just bring down the wet value a little bit. All right, so that's our main piano sound that you'll hear throughout the entire record. Next is gonna create a new software instrument track. And uh, let's go ahead and bring in Logic's EXS24 sampler instrument. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring in the I Don't Care drum kit, make it nice and loud. And uh, let's go ahead and start off with, I think we can start off with that snare sound. So let's go ahead and bring that in right now. So we're gonna draw in the snare here. It's kind of follow the same pattern as the piano, but with not quite as many notes in the pattern. That's pretty much it right there. We're just gonna duplicate that to the eight bars. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and layer up the snare with two other snares and just make it nice and full sounding like the one in the track and add in a lot of movement to it and sort of anticipation to that sound. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and copy this um, MIDI pattern down all right, so for the second snare sound here, I'm just gonna find where it is here, I think. Put it right there. So we're gonna go ahead and put a reverb on this one here. We're gonna go bring in Logic Space Designer. We're gonna go to a large space, a warped space, and uh, I'm gonna bring an effect here, sorry, a reverb preset here that is backward rolls, and it kind of gives you this anticipation feel that the one in the track had as well. I'm gonna go ahead and lower that quite a bit and I'm gonna lower the dry as well. I'm gonna open up an EQ and I'm gonna filter out a lot of the low end. So as you can feel that anticipation happening in the background with that reverb over there. Uh, next I'm gonna go ahead and take our um, our high cut right over here, and we're gonna go ahead and cut out quite a bit of the top end. And we'll bring in back some of that uh, top end here. So let's go something like that. All right, and for the, I wanna bring out sort of the tone to this snare. So we're gonna add in some resonance over here by pulling this one up. 
I'm just going to find where it's peaking. All right, something like that is okay, but I'm going to bring down how much we pull it up. All right, so that's good for the snare right over there. I'm just going to lower this down. All right, next we're going to go ahead and uh, duplicate this track once again. And we're going to add in a third snare sound. So let's copy down this pattern. All right, so let's take this and it's going to put it to our other sound. For this, we're just going to bring in an EQ. Once again, we're going to cut out uh, a lot of the highs, actually. Just something like that. Maybe we could take in a little bit of the low end as well. All right, something like that is good. And then we're just going to go ahead and bring in a reverb once again. And I'm going to use a preset I like to use here. We'll use the gunshot preset. I'm going to bring the wet value down to quite a bit, actually. And we're going to layer it up with these snares. So the snare becomes heavy and has a lot of movement to it and anticipation to it as well. Uh, next, let's go ahead and uh, duplicate this track once again. And uh, let's go ahead and bring, whoa, let's go ahead and bring that down here. And uh, let's go ahead and bring in the shaker that happens throughout the entire record. All right, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to change this over to my brush tool. And um, I'm going to change this to 16th note value. And there's our shakers right over there. Let's draw that in. I'm going to repeat that over the eight bars. Now, I want this shaker to be softer, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull up our attack. Nice and subtle like that. All right, next let's go ahead and uh, create a new softer instrument track. And let's work on the main sound that we hear throughout the entire record. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, start off with that and draw in that pattern. All right, so actually before we draw in this pattern, let's go ahead and bring in the sound. We're gonna go over to Legacy, Logic. We're gonna go to Synthesizers. And we're gonna go to Modeled uh, Woodwinds over here. And we're going to use the first one right over here called Air Whistle. Let's go ahead and draw on that pattern and then manipulate it from there. Uh, let's see here. So we're going to start off. We're going to change this back to my pencil tool. Make this a little bit bigger. This is already close to the original one as well, so it's a good sound to work off of. Do, do, do. And we're going to go up. So we're going to push this up right over here. And we're going to add in another sound right over here. And actually, I'm going to drag out our sound, let it last a little longer as well. All right, what we're going to do here is just going to repeat that. Whoa. Let's repeat it manually. All right, and then this is where it's going to change up a little bit. Let's just go ahead and just drag this over. All right, and for this part over here, it's going to go like this. Do, do. It's going to go down. So we're going to push this down one. And uh, we're going to match that with this. 
Take that one out. And then we're going to go back up to this right here. Push that over. And this becomes our pattern. Oh. All right, so it sounds good like that. Uh, let's go ahead and open up Logic Sculpture. We're just gonna head, go ahead and manipulate this sound a little bit. I'm just gonna pull our sound right over here, even though it does sound a lot like the one. I wanna see what it sounds like. Just move the material knob a little bit. All right, so that sounds good like that. All right, and then um, over here, just on the EQ, I'm gonna go ahead and just recall the default over here. And, um, and I'm just gonna cut a little bit of the lows. And then I'm gonna cut a little bit of the highs as well. Maybe not that much. Make it a little bit uh, more sort of blended in. This piano I'm actually going to push over to the right. All right, next let's go ahead and create a new software instrument track. And uh, let's go ahead and work on that bass pattern that we hear throughout the entire record. All right, so for this sound over here, all right, so for this sound over here, we're going to go back to our browser. We're going to go to Legacy Logic. Uh, we're going to bring in a synthesizer because this is like a synth bass. Uh, we're going to go to synth bass and uh, I'm gonna bring in the analog deep bass over here. Sounds very close to the one in the track itself. And uh, let's go ahead and give ourselves some more space here and draw in this pattern. Go down to a lower octave here. Go something like this. Go ahead and duplicate that once. And then right over here at the end, we get sort of, sort of like this crazy bass sort of pattern happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in right now. So we're gonna go ahead and go up one here. I'm going to drag this out here. I'm going to put another one right over here. Actually, I'm going to make sure that all my notes are quick hits like that. And then, um, how did it go here? I think this went down. Let's see how that sounds on its own. Yeah, so that sounds good like that. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this and uh, we're gonna copy it over, but we're gonna go down a little bit. Let's work on this second half here. All right, let's just make this a little bit bigger here. And then we get a little switch up here. It's gonna bring this back down. Just loop this here.
So this is going to go up. And we're going to take this out. And let's work on the next pattern over here. So we're going to go down. So we're going to go over here on the B. I'm going to work our way back up just like the piano did. And then we're going to copy over our first pattern over here. And uh, we're going to just copy that over. And let's copy that over. Something like that. And this is what the pattern sounds like. Actually, let's go ahead and arrange this as we go. So I'm going to do this right here. I'm going to copy this over. Let's move that over. And at the beginning here, we get like this, like half two bar action happening on the intro. So we're going to split that, take that out, push this back. And um, I don't think the bass gets in there. And it goes something like this. All right, and then this copies over, and then we're gonna go ahead and create a new software instrument track. And um, we're gonna draw in the chords that come in at the 11th bar in the record. All right, so for this right here, we're going into the pre-chorus, and uh, let's go ahead and bring in that sound. We're gonna go to Legacy. We're gonna go to Jam Pack Symphony Orchestra, and uh, we're gonna go to Pianos and Keyboards, and we're gonna go to Orchestra Celesta, and um, Let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. And let's uh, add in that chord here. And this C is just going to be spread over two octaves. here it's not letting me go on the one for some reason there we go stretch this out Ooh, I'm ready to drop it down Pull it back up. And we're just going to finish it off right over here. And uh, what we're going to do is turn on the tape delay here just to add in some. Uh, some delay on the sound here. All right, so what we're gonna do now is gonna duplicate this sound and we're gonna go into the art chorus. So we're gonna create a new softer instrument track and uh, we're gonna bring in the choirs that come in now, choirs are always like a crapshoot, if you will. Uh, everyone has different sounds. Maybe they record in an actual choir. So we're just try our best to uh, make it sound good and nice. Let's create a new pattern over here. All right, so for this sound here, we're gonna go over to Logic's Alchemy. Uh, let's go ahead and bring that in here. And uh, we're gonna go to Choir. And um, let's use Girl Choir 01. Load that in. And let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. So 
Over here, it's going to be very simple. We're just going to spread our notes over two octaves. We're going to go up here. that over two octaves and then uh, actually this is gonna be split up here just like the piano and we're gonna go over to and we're just gonna copy over this chord and just round it off with that So I'm thinking for this sound, we can go ahead and just duplicate it as well. Let's go over to uh, the browser here. Let's go to, uh, let's see what we're gonna go to. Let's go to synthesizer. Let's go to pad. And I think the one that I liked was dream voice. And it sounds something like this. Just fills it out nicely. It's lower. And then we're gonna duplicate this once again, but this time we're gonna bring in an orchestral sound. So let's go to, sorry, a real choir, if you will, real choir, but orchestral, we're gonna go to choir, and uh, we're gonna go to the chamber choir, and it sounds like this. Just to make it nice and full. Maybe we could like layer that up like this. Next, we're gonna go ahead and just group stack this. We're gonna go to create a track stack. And uh, let's go ahead and bring in a reverb here just to kind of fill that out. So that sounds good like that. And then after that, we're gonna do like a truncated sort of arrangement right over here. All right, and then over here, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this over once again. And uh, Justin Bieber comes in with his part and just there's a couple more elements that gets added to his verse. And then we're gonna round out the tutorial right there. So uh, we're gonna go ahead over here, we're gonna cut off at the first bar, just like that. We're gonna take out the, uh, the choirs and that Celesta. And now uh, we're going to create a new software instrument track. Uh, we'll bring in Logic's EXS24 instrument, bring in another instance of the I Don't Care drum kit, nice and loud, could have duplicated it, but we did not, it's okay. And uh, let's go ahead and draw in the kick that happens here. So we'll go ahead and open that up right over there. The kick is fairly simple pretty much follows the bass. Just adds more thumb to it. I'm gonna copy that over. Ooh, no, like that. So gonna duplicate that over. adds in some thump and then let's go ahead and duplicate that track over there we're gonna draw in an open hat that comes in here 
and it goes something like this. There it is right there. And finally, we're going to duplicate that track and we're going to draw in another hi-hat pattern. Fairly straightforward hi-hat pattern. Let's go to our brush tool. We're going to change it to eighth notes. And uh, if I find my hi-hat, there it is right there. I'm just going to go paint that in. And it sounds something like this. All right, so that's pretty much the remake right there. It is a truncated version of the arrangement, but uh, all the pieces are there. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Listen to the remake we just put together. Ed Sheeran's track with Justin Bieber, I... <laughs> Ed Sheeran's track with Justin Bieber, I don't care. Let's go. All right, so that right there is Ed Sheeran and Justin Bieber's track, I Don't Care. For your Logic users out there, I'm gonna go ahead and save this entire session for you guys. Place that as a downloadable link in the description box below this video. For your non-Logic users out there, got your back as well. I'm gonna go ahead and export all the mini stems, audio stems, and of course include the drum kit and the sounds that you heard in this remake. I'll place that entire playback in the description box below this video. If you do have any questions on this or just wanna chat, let's go ahead and talk in the comment section below. If you did like this video, remember thumbs up and share it. And if you are new to I'm a Music Mogul or haven't already, remember to hit that subscribe button for more great videos like this one. I'll talk to you all soon. Later, guys. Peace.